everyone, Shalik Fenimore here and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are going to watch Doctor Who Season 1, Episode 3. And I know nothing about this series. It's called The Unquiet Death. And it really, that doesn't give me a whole lot to go off of, frankly. Um, maybe someone significant dies. Maybe there's just some sort of encounter we have with the dead. I don't know. I, I'm really going into this kind of really blind. So I'm excited to get into it. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching Season 1, Episode 3 of Doctor Who. Oh, what is that? Oh, a candle. Okay, I thought it was a, just something to put out a candle. Sneed and company offer their sincerest condolences, sir, in their most trying hour. Grandmama had a good innings, Mr. Sneed. She was so full of life. Is she Can't done? She's gone. Not gone, Mr. Redpart, sir. Nearly slipping. I don't like that idea that it's, yeah. May I have a moment? Yes, of course. Oh. I should be next. Uh, whom should you require? He doing that? Oh my god. Ew. 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 Oh, she's choking your ass, too. Oh, shit. She came back with a vengeance. And he doesn't buy it. Oh my god. Oh, dude, now you're gonna die. What? Is he used to this? Is this a Tuesday for you guys? Oh shit, she's breaking free. Alright, well, that was kind of a fun opening. I gotta be honest. That one was a little bit fun. I can't recall if one of you guys- oh, it's the Unquiet Death, yes. Um, I can't recall- oh yeah, this is by the guy who wrote Sherlock! Oh my gosh, that's cool. Someone had told me that, but I couldn't remember if this was the one. No wonder, it has a Sherlock vibe. Oh, I promise you a time machine, and that's what you get. Now, see the future, let's have a look at the past. 1860, how does 1860 sound? What happened in 1860? I don't know. Let's find out. Hold on, here we go. Spinner! What are the odds that every place they choose to visit has something like this going on? Where are you, girl? Spinner! She's not coming. Where have you been? I was shouting. Why? Wait, wait, why does she look familiar? Who is that? Who is that that I... Her face looks familiar. I'm gonna have to look it up after. I can't remember. She looks like someone I should know. Put him back in there and harness him up. What type of force, sir? The stiffs are getting lively again. Mm. Mr. Redpath's grandmother, she's up and on her feet and out there somewhere on the streets. We've got to find her. Mr. Sneed, for shame, how many more times? It's ungodly. Do not what? feel like it's my fault. Get the hearse ready. We're going body snatching. Oh, yeah, because that's subtle to bring a hearse on the body snatch. That's subtle. Okay. The odds they land here. Mommy! Telling me you alright? Yeah, I think so. Nothing broken. Didn't make it, where are we? I did it. Give the man a medal. Uh, Naples, December 24th, 1860. Christmas Eve! That's so weird. It's Christmas. Yeah. All yours? Well, actually, it's, it's Christmas like, Eve, but. Think about it though. Christmas. 1860. Happened once. Just once. And it's gone. It's finished. It'll never happen again. That's kind Except of with every you. day of your life, though. You can go back and see days that are dead and gone a hundred thousand sunsets ago. Where is she? She's vanished into the ether, so I reckon she'd be here. Oh my gosh, it just occurred to me, this is 1860, so when he said hearse, I was thinking of a car hearse. Okay, that's my bad. That's why I was on his ass, because I was like, that's not subtle at all, but... Use the sight. What? Find the old lady, or you're dismissed. Friggin' fire me, see if that'll help. Look inside, girl. Look deep. Where is she? Hmm. She's lost, sir. Mm hmm She's so alone. Mm hmm Oh, my Lord. So many strange things in her head. But where? She was excited. 
about tonight. You quite well, sir. Splendid, splendid. Is this Charles Sorry. Dickens? Turn you on, sir. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I was just rooting. Shut the front door. Christmas what does Eve. Charles Dickens look like? Not the best of times to be alone. Did no one travel with you, sir? Had no lady Charles... wife waiting out front? I'm afraid not. Charles you can have mine if you want. Oh, oh that's supposed dance. to be him. Okay, so she's looking for Charles Dickens. Okay. Mother, let's say, what a legend. With family matters. Thank God. I'm too old to cause any more trouble. You speak as if it's all over, sir. Well, no, it's never over. Blimey. Don't laugh. Oh, you look good. <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh, that was sweet. Considering? Uh, considering, considering what? what? That you're human. Oh. He doesn't have a thing for humans. I think that's a compliment. Aren't you gonna change? I'll change my jumper. Come on. You see yeah. there, you've done this before. This is mine. Ooh, that first footprint into snow that's untouched. for this? Yes. Here we go. History. Okay, so I will say I'm not familiar as much with Charles Dickens' work except for A Christmas Carol. I don't know much beyond that. Ew, she's in the crowd. Ew. Why is there a fire just going on in the back? Nothing particular at all about the knocker on the door of this house, but let any man explain to me, if he can, how it happened that Scrooge, having his key in the lock of the door, yes. saw in the knocker, without its undergoing any intermediate process of change, <laughs> not a knocker, but Marley's face. Okay, so I do have a question, and I could be an all uncultured swine, frankly. But is this how his theater is going? Because why are we not performing it? Why are we just speaking it? He looked at Scrooge as Marley used to look. Oh my gosh. I like how everybody casually gets up slowly. Like, That's yeah, this like is it. not a time to run. Move! Stop casually walking towards the door! I beg you, it is a doubt of This did not go well. She is just going around the room. Oh, she's done. Okay. Oh, she just moves up his action. The wag reveals himself, does he? I trust your satisfied sir! Oi! What? Careful. I'll get him. Did it say anything? Can it speak? I'm a doctor, by the way. Doctor, you look more Nobody like knows what that means. What's wrong with this jumper? What are you doing? Oh, it's a tragedy, miss. Don't worry yourself. Me and the master deal with it. Fact is, this oh, they were collecting the brain her, right. We have to get her to the infirmary. What are you oh. doing, Rose? Yeah, she's yeah, dead. No shit. What did you do to her? She already was dead. <gasps> Dude. You can't just kidnap people. What did you do that for? She's seen too much. Tell you why not. I'll give you a very good reason why not. Because this is my coach. Well, get in then. Well, get in. <laughs> Charles Dickens is on the run with us. Yes. Oh, you're losing them. Everything in order, Mr. Dickens? No, it is not. What did he say? Uh, let me see this first. I'm not without a sense of humor. Dickens. Yes. Charles Dickens. Yeah. Yes. The Charles Dickens. Should I yes. remove the gentleman, sir? Charles Dickens. You're Should I remove you the gentleman? Completely, 100% brilliant. I've had them all. Great expectations. Oliver Twist. I will see you the one. The, the, the one with the ghost. Uh, the, the most cow. iconic, no, no, I feel no, like, the is the, trains, the Christmas the Carol. But also, yeah, terrifying. Oliver Twist the was another one. The best story ever written. You're a genius. Well, who exactly is it that person? My friend. She's only 19. It's my fault. She's in my care. Now she's in danger. Why are we wasting my time talking about dry old books? This is much more important. 
Oh my god, she's so here for the chase. Is that a boy, Charlie? Nobody calls me Charlie. Yeah, it's do. Charles. Don't, don't say Charlie. Like, you don't know him like that. Those gonna possess Rose. Oh my gosh. That would be a freaking a favor twist. Once. Made his nephew look like a cherub. Even though he'd been a fortnight in the rear. Hey, perhaps he'll do us an exorcism on the cheap. Mm. Say nothing. Tell him we closed. Just, just get rid of them. Girl, you do too much. Rose, come on now. Be aware of your surroundings. Shit. Oh, she didn't possess Rose, but she possessed another person. Or, no, the guy. Sorry, sorry, closed. Nonsense. It's rented an undertaker. Keep office hours. The dead don't die on schedule. I demand oh, to see your God. answer. He's not in, sir. It's your brain. You're not allowed inside, sir. There's something inside the wall. Um, the door. Why is the door locked? Oh, shit. The gas pipe. Something's living inside the gas. Didn't we already address that it was gas? Come on, let me out! Open the door! Open the door! Please, yeah, please. get her out. Okay, Rose, you're gonna have to move so we can kick it. Door down at any point. <gasps> oh my gosh! Ooh! Yeah, there you go. I think this is my dance. Pass on is the only thing I can think. Or get out of here. First of all, you drunk me. Then you kidnap me, and mm. don't think I didn't fill your hands up in a quick wonder, you dirty old man. I Ew! Spoken to like this. Then you sent me in a room full of zombies. And if that ain't enough, you swung off and leave me to die. So come on, talk! It's not my fault, it's this house! Well, no, the kidnapping was definitely your fault, it's by the way. Like, you, you chose to do that. Haunted. But I never had much bother until about three months back, and then the stiffs... Started coming the, alive, um, yeah. The deer departed. Started getting restless. The doctor's just having a grand old time. You witnessed it! Dude? What are you doing? Get out of here! You are so dumb. Checking for strings. Wires. Perhaps there must be some mechanism behind this fraud. Oh, come on, Charles. All right. I shouldn't have told you to shut up. I'm sorry. But you've got one of the best minds in the world. You, you right. saw those gas creatures. I cannot accept that. And what does the human body do when it decomposes? It breaks down, produces gas. Perfect home for these gas things. They can slip mm. inside, use it as a vehicle. Just like your driver and his coach. Stop it. Can it be that I have the world entirely wrong? Not wrong. There's just more to learn. How much do you get paid? How much do you get paid? Eight hundred a year, miss. A oh, year? I know. I would have been happy with six. What? I would. It's the so, night. Okay. Did you even go to school or what? Of course I did. What do you think I am? A new chin? I went every Sunday. Nice and proper. Oh. Well, once a week. We did sums and everything. To be honest, I hated every second. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> There's such different times, but... Don't tell anyone. But one week... I didn't go and I ran down a heath all on my own. <laughs> I'm not telling you that. I used to go around the shops with my mate Shireen. <laughs> we used to go and look at boys. What? Well, I don't know much about that, miss. I swear, it is the strangest thing, miss. You've got all the claws and the breeding, but you talk like some sort of wife. Mm -hmm. Giving it up. Giving up Maybe the facts. I am. Maybe that's a good thing. You need a bit more in your life than Mr. Sneed. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's not fair. He's not so bad, old Sneed. No, but that I can He's agree really with. I mean, you're really kind of... Because I lost my mum and dad to the flu when I was 12. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Still, you take the fall for him a lot. But I'll be with him again one day. Sitting with him in paradise. I should be so blessed. They're waiting for me. 
Mm. Maybe your dog's up there. We can feed you tuna. Maybe. No, you never said I'm anything. Salvage ideas, but I've been thinking about him lately more than ever. I suppose so. What? How do you know all this? Mr. Sneed says I think too much. No, you're giving me. You're what? alone, though, eh? I bet you've got dozens of servants on you. <laughs> no, no servants where I'm from. And you've come such a long way. What makes you think so? I don't trust her. Rose, you keep your back. Morning. I've seen London in drawings, but never like that. Uh -huh. All those people rushing about, half naked for shame. And the noise. The metal foxes racing past. And the birds in the sky know. No, they're metal as well. I'm Red, sorry. I'm sorry. Red flags. Sorry. I can't help it ever since I was a little girl. My mom said I have a son. She told me to hide it. Well, it's getting stronger, more powerful. Is that right? All the time, sir. Every night. Voices in my head. You grew mm. up on top of the rift. You're part of it. You're the key. Precisely the sort of cheap mummery I strive to unmask. Seances? Nothing but luminous tambourines and a squeeze box concealed between the knees. This girl knows nothing. Now don't antagonize her. I love a happy medium. I can't believe you just oh said that. Gosh. Come on, we might need you. I'm a spoiled sport. I don't Good really man. want him in the circle. Now, Gwyneth, reach out. I don't need Dickens' negative energy here. Speak to us. Are you there? Spirits, come. It's gonna jump and Speak Dickens to us is gonna be. May relieve your burden. <gasps> What's it saying? It can't get through the rift. Gwyneth, it's not controlling you, you're controlling it. Now look deep. Allow them through. I can't. Yes, you mm. can. Just believe it. I have faith in you, Gwyneth. Make the link. <sighs> oh, boy. Yes. Ooh. Rift what? Take the girl to the rift. Make, Make the bridge. What for? We are so very few. The last of our kind. We face extinction. Why? What happened? Once we had a physical form like you. But then the war came. War? What war? The time war. The whole universe convulsed. So these aren't just ghost the ghosts. These war. are like... Raged, invisible to smaller species, but devastating to higher forms. Our bodies wasted away. We're trapped in this gaseous state. So that's why you need the corpses. We want to stand tall, to um, feel in the sunlight, no. to live again. No, thank you. We need a physical form, and your dead are abandoned. But my angels must. They came, didn't they? They need me. They do need you, Gwyneth. You're their only chance of survival. I've told you, leave her alone. She's exhausted and she's not fighting your battles. Don't you get this? What is but that? What did you say, Doctor? Explain it again. What are they? Aliens. Like foreigners, you mean? Oh, gosh. Foreign, yeah. From up there. Brecon? Close. And they've been trying to get through from Brecon to Cardiff, but the road's blocked. Only a few can get through. Even then, they're weak. They Dickens is drinking it down. For so long, then they have to revert to gas and hide in the pipes. Which is why they need the girl. They're not having her. But she can help. Seriously, though, you can't. Seriously, though, I can. That's just wrong. Yeah, and you can't Those make that decision, living people. doctor. We should respect them, even in death. Do you carry a donor card? <laughs> it's different. That's... It is different. Yeah, it's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. Oh my gosh. You heard what they said. Time's short. I can't worry about a few corpses when the last of the Gelf could be dying. They don't care. They're not using it. Don't I get to say, miss? It is you up to her. No. You don't understand what's going on. She does. She has a that, mind miss. Because that's very clear inside your head that you mm. think I'm stupid. That's not fair. It's true, though. Things might be very different where you're from. But here and now, I know my own mind. Mm hmm. And the angels need me. 
Give it the doctor still being. Okay, what do I have to do? We got spirits coming. Here they come. I'll take you somewhere else after the transfer. Somewhere you can build proper bodies. This isn't a permanent solution, all right? My angels. I can help them live. Okay, where's the weak point? Here, beneath the arch. Beneath the I really arch. don't trust this. You don't have to do this. My Bro, angels. She's already... Yes. Is this is the whole spirit world? Damn it, I knew that, you guys! Son of a... Damn it, see? Dude, no! Yeah, you idiot! You open one door, they all open! Stop this march with us! No, thank you. Yeah, see, good job, doctor, for putting us in that one, dumbass. Stop them! Send them back now! Make them vessels for the girl. I'm with Dickens. I'm not with it. Everybody else can deal with it. Dickens, go. Ooh, get out! No! Die. Tell me I can't. Well, you can and you might. Yet. It's impossible for me to die. Isn't it? I'm Didn't sorry. read that one in the disclosure. Oh. Here, oh. Gosh. What does that mean? Gosh. Come one of them. Oh he's, oh, he's turning it off. So, okay. Come on, Dickens. You got this. We'll go down fighting, yeah? Yeah. Together? Yeah. Two against, I don't know, 20, 30? I'm so glad I met you. Oh, that's nice. Me too. Doctor, doctor! Turn off the flame! Turn up the gas! Turn up the gas. Room, all of it now. What are you doing? Turn it all off. I was gonna say, do what he says. He's, he's doing place. work. Brilliant. Gas. What? So he choked to death instead? Am I correct, Doctor? These creatures are gaseous. Fill yeah. Them with gas, it'll draw them out of the holes. It's working. Okay, there we go. Put it, stand up like they're lying. They're not angels. Yeah, they're nice. not. Look at them. If your mother and father could look down and see this, they tell you the same. Mm -hmm. They give you the strength. Now send them back. Can't breathe. Charles, get her out. I'm not leaving her. They're too strong. Remember that world you saw? Rose's world, all those people. None of it will exist unless you send them back through the rift. I can't send them back. What do you want? What? But I can hold them. No. Hold them in this place. Hold them here. So if I get that, but... <laughs> He is gonna leave her. Okay. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna light it because it's okay, and it because it's gas. Okay. But Gwyneth was already dead. She oh, he felt her pulse. What do you mean? I think she was dead from the minute she stood in that arch. Really? Okay, so that's why. She can't have. She spoke to us. She, she helped us. She saved us. How could she have done that? There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Even for you. That's doctor. why he touched her neck. What are you going to do now? I shall take the mail coach back to London. 
quite literally post haste. This is no time for me to be on my own. I shall spend Christmas with my family and make amends. To them. After Good all I've you. learned tonight, there can be nothing more vital. You cheered up exceedingly. <laughs> this morning I thought I knew everything in the world. Now I know I've just started. Yeah. All these huge and wonderful notions, Doctor. I'm inspired. I must write about them. I must ask you. My books. Doctor, do they last? Yeah. Oh, Actually, yes. quite quite a bit, yes. For how long? A long time. Forever. They're still being talked about. Right. There's there's Shed. a Christmas Carol adaptation almost every year. And there's also a Christmas Carol play almost every year at a playhouse, if not hundred. Come on, Rose. Around Christmas time. In, in the box. Both of you. Yes. Down boy. See ya. This time it's 1870, and that's the year he dies. Sorry. Oh my god. I never get to tell his story. Oh, he was so nice. But in your time, he was already dead. We've brought him back to life. What are you gonna do? Just show him the TARDIS? Oh, he sees it. Well, damn, now if he tells anybody, he's just gonna be crazy the last year he's alive. What the hell? He's gonna be ridiculed for how crazy he is. God bless us, everyone. <sighs> okay, so that was my first time watching season one, episode three of Doctor Who. That one was probably my favorite so far. It was Christmassy, it was Halloweeny, it was old timey, it was old time London. It was super fun. We had Charles Dickens, who I love Christmas Carol. Disney's A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey. I know it's really disliked in a lot of areas, but it's actually one of my favorite Christmas movies. But also, I just really liked that story. I liked the ghost story. And I think that it is funny because I didn't really think anything of them trusting the ghost right away. But as I started to realize they were going to open a portal, I'm like, this might not be the best idea. Because yeah, once you open that door, you can't shut that door very easily. And once all of them started coming through, I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of spirits. There's a lot of spirits here. And I don't know, the doctor did irritate me a lot in that episode. I know he doesn't know the customs. I know he doesn't, he doesn't, he does it with good intention, but it's still very irritating sometimes how there, we always have to lose somebody. And I know that's just how it is. You always lose somebody that you can't save everyone, but it just sucks because you know, he he can't save everyone, but it's still frustrating because he promises that things will work out and then they don't. But he did feel her pulse. That's what he was doing. So that's why he didn't end up saving her. Now that makes sense to me. I judged a little quickly. But the reason he didn't save her was because she had already passed on. All right. Well, I enjoyed that. Um, You know what? We'll give it another episode. I think that I'll try out the next one. But this one was probably my favorite. And it's funny because this was actually written by the guy who wrote Sherlock, which one of you guys did tell me about, and this one was honestly probably my favorite so far. So I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. Until next time, guys. Bye.